In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these dish soap bottle dresses. This is a very quick and simple project to put together. And as you can see here, I have a fall decor one for my kitchen that is Thanksgiving themed. So like I always tell you, download that free printable pattern and let's get started. Once you download the pattern and cut it out, you should have three pattern pieces. Number one, the dress body, number two, the apron, and number three, the pocket. So I'm gonna start out by cutting out the dress body. So I'm gonna work on the wrong side of my fabric and I'm gonna put down my pattern and actually trace it with pencil. And you can pin it down if you choose. I'm gonna use pattern weights, trace around it and cut out. And I'm also gonna cut out the pocket the same exact way. my dress body and the pocket cut out, I'm going to cut out in the same exact way the apron. Now that I have these pieces cut out of fabric, I know that I'm going to use this really bright uh, ribbon for the tie and I'm going to also use a black and bold lace to trace around the body of the dress. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the sewing machine and if you have a serger, you could definitely serge around the edges. I don't have a serger, so I'm gonna do a zigzag along the entire uh, perimeter of the dress body. you've sewn your zigzag if you've chosen to all around what you're going to do is you're going to iron back a hem at a, of about a quarter of an inch all around the dress so when you're working on the curves just take your time and fold over little bits so that you don't get sharp edges on the churn just like I'm doing here I always give it a shot of steam because it helps it stay down quicker. And you're going to continue along until you have a seam all around and even in the center here, you're going to follow the seam. Then you'll take your apron and you will do a double hem on the sides and on the bottom. The top you can leave completely as is because the ribbon will end up covering it. These hems folded over and ready to be sewn. What I want to do is work on the front pocket and I'm going to roll over the same exact type of double hem on the pocket. First I'm going to iron it down flat and what I'm going to do is know that this is my top, so I just need a double rolled uh, hem here and just single hems here. So here's how we do it. Let's do the sides first. We'll do single hems on the side. The bottom also gets a single hem. And then the top will do a double hem or rolled hem, just in case you actually do stick something into this pocket. Okay, making sure it's square. I'm gonna fold once. And then twice. And our cute little pockets ready to be pinned on to the front of the apron. Okay, so we're going to place it into the center 
or onto the center right here. You can put it higher, lower, it's totally up to you. And I'm just gonna pin it in place and we're gonna go off to the sewing machine and sew the sides down in place. The top, again, didn't need anything. And then we're gonna sew this in place. step is to sew on this lace edging around the dress. So this lace is not exactly uh, ruffled. So as I sew it onto the back of the dress, I'm going to actually give it a little or sort of like small pleat. Every once in a while, I'm going to create these pleats so that it turns around the dress nicely. And I'm actually going to freehand it and not even bother pinning it. Back to the sewing machine. Next and last step is to pin down the apron in place and I'm going to create pleats as I do that. So right here where the curve of the dress is, where it curves in, I'm going to place it down centered as best as I can and I'm going to create uh, one large pleat. You can even do two, it's up to you. I'm going to create one there, maybe I'll just fold one right over here. Keep it simple because this fabric that I chose, not the cotton but this one, it is slinky and it doesn't behave so i don't want to deal with it so i'm doing one pleat on each side but depending on your fabric you may want to do two or three and then i'm going to pin my 26 or 27 inch length ribbon right over that to cover that so it won't fray and cover it up in the event that it does you can make this uh length of the ribbon longer if you choose and I'm gonna go right over to the sewing machine and sew the ribbon right on. So a stitch right here up on top and right on the bottom. And you know, you can add a decorative stitch. If you have a stitch on your machine that you absolutely love, decide and do that if you'd like. And my very bold dish soap bottle dress is completely done and ready to tie on to my soap bottle. And I've also made a Thanksgiving and or fall themed one. And if you really like to create fall decor for your home, why don't you check out my stuffed fabric pumpkins videos as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.